All right, guys. Now that I'm done with the uh, combustion chambers, I'm pretty happy with them. Uh, they're satisfactory, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, clean up my whole mess from porting here and uh, give this head a really good once over in the sink, clean it up, and uh, then we'll start doing some cleaning up some valves and, and some lapping. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, I got, uh, I got the head over there soaking in the uh, awesome orange degreaser, um, kind of letting it break up all the oil on its own. Um, so I'm going to get started cleaning up some valves and uh, show you guys how I do that quickly. Um, so basically I just take a hand drill and grab, the, grab a valve in the, uh, in the chuck gently. Don't go too crazy with it. Um, and then I got a couple of buffing wheel compounds over here. So I've got kind of a medium grit and then a, a super fine grit. So all I'm going to do is spin this in the drill and being careful not to hit the, uh, the, the ground surface that the guide rides on and uh, also be careful not to hit the seat too hard. Um, but I'm just going to spin this and, and hit it on both of these wheels and uh, so that's how the valve is starting covered with, with carbon um, and I'll just go through all these valves and clean them up. When you're hitting the face of these, be real careful to, to lean it up away from the wheel. If, you, if it grabs the top of that, it could jerk it real hard and that could actually bend a valve. So you want to be real careful of the angle you, you hit the wheel on that. Alright, and that's what we have when it's all done pretty good damn near polished so I'm gonna keep going on these uh, keep going and do all the rest of them these do get pretty hot so careful what you set them on because it'll burn on whatever you set them on I got a plastic cart here so I don't know I don't want to melt into the plastic Some people call this swirl polishing. I just call it hitting it on a buffer. You guys can do this with uh, just some sandpaper and some scotch Brite if you don't have a buffing wheel. Just hold it in your drill and go after it. Um, I, would, uh, I would think about degreasing them a little better than I did first and maybe getting some, uh, some varnish remover uh, to soak them in first and clean them real good and then go about polishing them or else they'll just gum up a bunch of sandpaper. Um, but uh, anyway, yep, still going.
Okay, so I got all my valves cleaned up. I got the head clean. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start numbering these things so that when we lap them out, lap them in, they're all in the same hole. We don't get them mixed up. So I'm going to label the exhaust valves uh, 1 through 8 and the intake valves 1 through 12. And I'm going to do the same with the valves. Okay, so I got the head all clean, I got the valves all polished up. Um, we numbered the valves, we numbered the head. Um, so next step is to lap these suckers in. So um, I've got a couple of compounds over here. Uh, I've got 400 grit and 220 grit. Um, I've had these cans of, of lapping compound since I was like 16. Uh, I'll probably never have to buy more in my life. They're, they'll last forever. Um, but I'm probably going to try just starting out with the 400 grit and see how they lap in. Um, the seats look like they're in pretty good shape, so I don't think we're going to have to take much material off. Um, so basically the way this goes is you drop a valve in, you put a little bit of that lapping compound on the seat, and then you spin the valve, you guys have seen these, uh, it's a suction cup, it goes on the valve, uh, you spin it, uh, and you spin the valve basically until that abrasive cuts, cuts into the seat and the, and the valve enough to where they match and uh, they get a good seal. So um, I don't use these, this is going in the garbage. What I use is a hand drill with a little piece of silicon vacuum hose stuck in the end of it. So you just clamp a piece of vacuum hose, about a three inch piece, into your chuck, and then, uh, and then you can stick this onto the stem of the valve and use it to spin it. So we are going to start with exhaust valve number one here. And I've got a Q-tip to uh, get the silicon carbide, which is the lapping compound, get that onto the seat without getting it all over my fingers, hopefully. You want to be really, really careful not to get any of that compound on, on the stem of the valve because um, if it gets down in the, in the uh, guide, it can really hog that out. I mean, it's, it's a really burly abrasive. It's the same stuff we cut metal with. So, um, yeah, don't try not to get it everywhere. And uh, you don't need a whole lot of it. So I've got exhaust valve number one in the hole. I'm going to flip the head up here. So I can stick my little piece of vacuum tube on the valve. Maybe. I need to grab a piece of bigger vacuum tubing. Yep, I'll be right back. Okay. So I've got my piece of vacuum tube stuck to the stem of the valve. Hopefully you can see that. And then I'm going to put a little bit of compound on the seat of the valve. This slimy stuff here. Don't need much. So, there's that. And then basically we're going to just rotate, I'm going to put this in low gear, just rotate this slowly and just kind of pull it up against that seat and then lift off a little bit Let's see here. you can hear it kind of cutting oops my vacuum line fell off
So lifting it off basically lets that grease get back under the valve. Um, so I'm going to do this for a little bit on this one. Let's see. And see where we end up. I don't think this vacuum line that I'm using is actually silicone. It doesn't stick as good. Um, so I might have to try to go back to the other one and just squeeze it on there. But uh, yeah, so basically that's all there is to it. And we want to just like keep keep some pressure on there and keep spinning it um, and let that compound just work work its way on that seat. And then uh, and then we'll clean off the seat and you'll be able to vis visibly tell um, if it's cut it cut it in well or not. So um, I'm going to work on that and then uh, we'll come back and we'll look at the seat and see what it looks like. So I'm kind of using my finger here to uh, put some extra pressure on it since my, my, my vacuum line isn't holding very well. I'm not putting a lot of pressure, just a little bit. Kind of let that stuff do its work. Okay. Let's wipe this one off and see what that seat looks like. Being very careful not to get that grease anywhere. Alright, so I can already tell that this is going to lap in just fine with the 220 only. I'm not sure if you can see that. I just can't get it to focus. But you can see how it's got a uniform um, kind of line all the way around it. And it's same with the valve seat. So I don't it's probably really hard to tell on this video, but um, if you can kind of compare that seat to that seat, you see it's got a dull gray uh, surface all the way around it. Uh, maybe you can see that, but from my perspective, it looks pretty uniform. Uh, it, it needs a little bit more lapping. There's still some spots where it hasn't cleaned up, but it is cons consistent and concentric. Um, so I'm just going to keep working on that, and I'm, I'm wiping the numbers off of my valve. So I got to make sure I renumber those before I set it back down and start on the next one. Um, but yeah, just kind of keep doing that and. Basically just got to go through all the valves and uh, do that to all of them. And then we'll clean it off one last time real good before we uh, start assembling the head. This silicone hose works way better. Sorry, I keep getting phone calls from the wife, but uh, this seat looks absolutely perfect. It's completely uniform form and even all the way around. The valve looks awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and renumber this one. And uh, I'm just going to keep using the 220 uh, throughout this head. So I think it's going to work fine. Um, if you do have some seats that have some good nicks in them and stuff, um, or some like Sometimes like your exhaust valves, if they're if a motor's been sitting for a while and the valve's been hung open just a little bit, it'll get some like corrode corrosive kind of surface on there. Um, corroded. And uh, it'll be a little bit pitted. And you can usually get that out with a heavier abrasive and then come back to the finer abrasive. Uh, but this head's in good shape, so this is working out pretty good. So I'm gonna keep going on that. That valve I maybe lapped in for a total of maybe a minute, minute and a half. Um, so it doesn't take too long each. It takes longer to probably clean everything up and put grease on it. So um, yeah, anyway, I'm gonna keep going and uh, see you guys in a minute. Alright, exhaust valves are done. Time for intake. Flip 
Just head around and get going on those. Alright guys, a moment of truth coming up. I'm on the second to last valve, and it just so happens to be the one that I kind of cut into the seat a little bit, into the ivy of the seat. So uh, I'm sure it'll lap in fine, but we'll see if I feel comfortable with it when I'm done here. Um, also, I think I've been saying 220 grit this whole time. What I actually am using is the 400 grit, so the, the finer of the two, uh, the two compounds that I have um, for a finer surface finish. I think I was saying the wrong one. But we'll see here in a second if I think this one's going to work or not. I have a feeling it's going to be fine. But we'll see what it looks like. Yeah, I think it'll work just fine. It's uniform all the way around. It has a little bit less seat visually on the one side, but I think it'll work. All right, one to go and this will be done. All right, so I think this guy's about done. I'm gonna go and clean it up one more time, give it a good once over to make sure all the silicon uh, carbide is out of it and away from everything so it doesn't chew anything up because that stuff is hard hard and doesn't go away uh, and then I'm going to come back and uh, we'll be ready to start reassembling this thing um, so yeah we'll see you soon